this is Kay Franklin and in this short video I'm just going to show you how to modify your table of contents if you're using Microsoft Word so that you can automatically add your subheadings into your table of contents or remove them if you don't want them in there. Now at the moment in this template I'm showing only the heading one style okay these are the main chapter styles those are the only ones that I'm showing now if we go down to the document you can see that I have already specified within the document particular heading styles so for this one I've given it a heading one style and you can see up there heading one yeah if I click on this one you can see it's a heading two style and if I click on this one you can see it's a heading three style so I've got the styling set up without the doc within the document uh, now I want to change the table of contents so that I include my subheading and my sub subheading so I want to now include not only my level one heading I want to include my level two and three or my heading two and three okay so to do this I have to go and edit the table of contents and to do that I need to go to references uh, then click on here and I need to move down to custom in other words make it different define it myself so if, when we click on that we come to this sort of editing table and you'll see that by default it's got these ticked I had actually removed them because I didn't want to show the page numbers so I'm just going to get rid of that so that the page numbers disappear again you'll see here that this line here is specifying to show levels up to three so that would include one two and three now this is the default when you go to custom in uh, the table of contents to custom it it doesn't automatically show what is defined already it, it tends to go to this default um, setting so although I had set it to only show the main heading one this default uh, editing table has by default uh, set it to show up to the first three levels okay now what that means is that it will show heading one the first level heading two the second level and heading three the third level now what we saw if I move this across I had actually changed it to only show level one in other words heading one was only showing and that is how I had already set up this table of contents okay so uh, it's a little bit difficult because by default it goes back to the three but this is how I had originally set it and then gone okay but let me show you what happens if I now say okay I want to include not just my heading one I want to include heading two and heading three now okay don't forget I've already got that set up in the document I've already styled the headings um, so it will now look in the document and whenever it comes across a two or a three heading style it will now put it into my table of contents so I'm going to click OK it's asking me do you want to replace this table of contents yes I do and now you'll see okay that the table has changed it's now got the main heading it's got the heading two and it's got the heading three so my table of contents is now a lot more full and people can click through to the different subheadings and sub subheadings uh, if they want to not just the the main chapter ones so let's suppose this it was your document and now you want to get rid of the subheadings and you only want to show the main ones okay to do that we need to edit the table of contents so make sure you're on references here we go to table of contents we click 
and we custom and you can see it's gone back to this default uh, window and it's now showing the page numbers again it's a little bit annoying that uh, so let's get rid of the page numbers we don't want them showing uh, let's now move this so that now it's only the first heading the main heading style showing and when I go OK you'll see that these subheadings heading level 2 and 3 will disappear so let's click OK do I want to replace it yes okay and they've gone I'm now only showing the heading 1 style OK, so this is how you can automatically um, update and change your table of contents to get rid of subheadings if you want to, rather than manually going through and actually deleting them yourself, because when you do that, um, things start to get a little complicated.